Today we're comparing a $20 hotel to a $400 five-star luxury resort with literally an entire water park to see if it's actually 20 times better. But there's only one rule. If the cheaper hotel somehow turns out to be better, I'll have to eat the absolute weirdest pizza in the world. But there's no way that's gonna happen, right? Well, let's find that out by starting with the $20 hotel. But unlike any cheap hotel, it's one of the best rated hotels at the price that you literally get free Japanese manga to read, free coffee, it tastes so good. And doing laundry, it's also also completely free of whatever this thing is. But for the price of the hotel, you get so many breakfasts, it's simply insane. From this egg pancake thingy to a tuna sandwich and all sorts of milk tea. But what about the hotel room? Well, from the moment you walk in, you will be amazed by how big it is. With two beds, a TV kind of small, but okay, I guess. You can literally charge five things at once and a decoration with too many holes. But I don't know why they give you so many cups when the color doesn't even match. But the craziest thing happened in the bathroom as you you literally got a pose sticking out. What even is this? Never mind, let's put the towel over it. And you won't believe how beautiful the view outside the window is. I actually can't see anything. But before we leave, let's check if the room is clean and it's pretty good. Okay, so fortunately or unfortunately, the cheaper hotel was way better than what I expected. But now it's time for the expensive hotel. Because up next, we're going to stay at the $400 luxury, all-inclusive resort with the best gaming room ever and so much more. And right away, you can see the difference as they literally have three massive swimming pools where they constantly pump more water in. Don't touch that thing though. But also huge water slide. No kidding, it's so tall. Kudos to anyone who can use it. Actually, that's not as scary as I found the unicorn, but only the head remains. Kind of sad to look at. Oh, there's also a lake for surfing and stuff. A robot was already waiting for me and literally started seeing and turning into a cat as soon as it saw me. And free cookies right after you check in. Always good to have. But since the hotel was too big, it took a whole train. Wait, let's give you boot first. Just to show you around. As it started to make its way around the swimming pool, I'd arrive at the desert with a weird spinning thing. And a place for you to scoop the sand all day if you want. But if you have a cat in your house, you already do this every day anyway. Actually, speaking of cats, this orange cat was telling me to follow him. But after a while, I didn't think he knew where he was going. Unlike this other cat, which totally found the perfect place for a nap. I asked the people working here, and turns out the cats have been living here for for a long time. Probably as long as this ring tossing game I found. It looked easy, I bet even a robot could do it. Oops, why did that happen? I mean, I might not be able to land the job interview, but I can totally land. Hey, why not some good old basketball? It looks so easy. I bet the medicum from the $20 hotel could do it. It has to be gravity. Different hotel has different gravity, and we know it. That, that's right, this other one that literally has the dog or wolf. I might not be able to land an entry-level job because they need 20 years of experience, but... I'll talk to your manager. But the first big win for a $20 hotel came pretty quickly as the laundry service and the expensive resort actually cost money. Is the cheaper hotel the better one? It can't be. As I was worrying about eating that weird pizza, they offered me a free guided tour to the beach where they told me what plant was safe to touch and what's not. And I probably touched the wrong one because my hands are now super itchy. After walking forever, we arrived at the beach but instead of sand, they only got rocks and a lot of swamp. But they told me little animals live inside those rocks, so I knock on the door politely, but nobody was home. I wandered off along and eventually found a cute dog, but it turned out to be a bad idea as now I couldn't find my way back to the hotel. Okay, now I'm completely lost. But luckily, another path with fancy stairs show up, leading all the way to the coolest place in any hotel I've seen. As first, you have a lounge with so many different outfits you can put on. Another room with scooters, which I'm probably too big to use. A merry-go-round for kids but oh my, look at those massive eyebrows. And isn't that our little arch nemesis? You've come to be defeated by us once more. Yes, yeah. I'll throw you like a bagel because a plain bagel can fly. Get it? Actually, I meant to pick up the red one because everything red has a better accuracy. Oh, just forget that you saw that and let's move on to the next room. Because now we're in the gaming room. Where you get a huge gaming sofa. Wait, what is this? Guess someone forgot their shard. Your very own headphones and the TVs are so massive. Just like table for gamers to discuss their plan and the couch for you to wait for your turn. But the room next to it literally got pinball machines with Pikachu and life jackets and donuts on the wall. What's so dangerous about Pikachu? Guess we better investigate. And it looks so easy. I bet even the pancake from earlier 
Mario could do it because it's a piece of cake. See, I told you so. But the suddenly start spewing balls at me. Please stop. I don't need more balls. Let's hide in this room until the balls are gone. And wow, there's so many rooms in here. I wonder what they are. But I only found a table for playing chess with a dolphin. The second room was the same without any dolphin, sadly. But the final room turned out to be the secret room for meditation with a massive crystal. It looks so expensive. But you needed to take off your shoes before entering it. Is it common to have a meditation room in the hotel? Tell me in the comments. I've never seen one. But I also never seen an elevator that literally opened on its own. I didn't touch the button or anything. Is it alive? I thought it was motion sensor, but it never happened again. That that let's go the other way around. But that wasn't easy too, as the floor was littered with dolphins. I didn't want to step on them. And the place was massive. It feels like they have thousands of rooms. I cannot find where mine is. After walking in circles for ages, it's finally time to check out the luxury hotel room. And the first thing you would notice would be the size of the bed. Instead of having two single beds, now you have two king-size beds and they're so soft and bouncy in case you need something to punch because you're mad at tossing those rings. The purple pillow was fun to have and I even checked under a mattress to see if it was clean and it looked perfect. And next to them, you have a light that looks like a lantern, a sofa, and a tea table. And I especially love how they baby-proof all the table corners so it's safer for everyone. And a drawer to put your stuff in. Wait, it doesn't open. What's this over here? What, why do I need lights on the floor? You know what? Since they've given me so many slippers, I'm not an octopus, you know. It looked like just the right place to put all of that stuff in. Perfect. And the TV was literally two times bigger than the $20 hotel. Even the remote was way bigger. But is the view also better than the cheaper hotel? As I opened up the curtain, while well, trying to open up the curtain, realizing the windows couldn't be open, I even went to the other side of the window and yes, it's not meant to be open. But the wall has so many holes, who needs a window when you have this? I think I got upgraded for free because I booked a twin bedroom and this is obviously a quadruple room for the whole family. And to celebrate that, let's drink everything in the fridge. Oh, it's empty. Let's give you some free water and there you go. But is the bathroom also better than the cheaper hotel? Well, let's see. The basket is there and the mysterious bag is there. I got two trash cans for no good reason and they look so different. But you can rotate the faucet which is pretty cool even though I don't get the purpose. The shower room also gave you two different shower hats and a shower mat that literally looked like that decoration from the cheaper hotel with equal amounts of holes. Did the same person design this or not? But hey, look at the toilet with too many buttons. Let's push off it without knowing what they do. But there's still one final thing to check because the breakfast at the cheaper hotel was so impressive. I'm sure you're curious to see what this hotel has to offer. Well, first of all, they have something that other hotels so usually have. No, I'm not talking about the tiny pumpkin. They have turnip cake, which are made from pieces of radish with water and flour. And you eat it with soy sauce. But their fork was so tiny, I don't know why. And for the drinks, I found the pink one and the yellow one. So decided to mix a little bit of both. But too afraid to drink it. Good thing they got two coffee machines. I think that one looks fancier. But at first it was only giving me milk. Then finally the coffee came out. I ended up getting all the vegetarian food they had, which wasn't much. As they were mostly tomato pasta, some cheese with vegetables, and some egg. Yeah, they tasted pretty good, but is it better than the $20 hotel? Okay, so it's the time you've been waiting for. Which hotel is better? Well, my favorite things about this hotel are the facilities, even the indoor one, and the breakfast. But if you only need a place to stay for a night, I can see a cheaper hotel with their price, and free laundry being the better option. Wait, did I just agree that the cheaper hotel was better? I guess there's no escaping the absolute weirdest pizza. Might as well make it quick. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, it's not like we never seen a snake pizza before. First thing, the pizza doesn't have the pizza part. And second, it's literally a snake. Look, there's the eyeball. Why would anyone buy a snake pizza? Hey, you know what? Even I think they screw up a little bit. Because you see, it's supposed to look like a snake. And I don't think it looks like anything at all. Even they're having trouble remaking the weirdest pizza. I'm just gonna shove it down my throat. And if anything happened to me, Please help me beat that bloody ring tossing game. But they managed to surprise me. Okay, God say it's actually not as bad as I thought. I would even say it was more delicious than everything else I ate in this video. With the cheese stuffing inside and mustard. Yes, it also has mustard and sugar powder. So it tastes sour and sweet and cheesy. But I got curious to see how my 70-year-old cat would react to the snake pizza. Because he's afraid of snake. And to my surprise, he doesn't seem bothered at all. But next, I went to the cheapest 5-star hotel in Malaysia and you can click on the video right now.